Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel. My name is William. In this video, I would like us to talk about table widgets. And when we are using the panel builder, we can be able to have the table widgets. But if you are not using the panel builder, you can be able to pass in just the tables as a component, as a live wire component. So let us see how we can be able to do that in this case. In our previous video, we did talk about the statistic widget and the chart widget. And in this video, I want us to talk about the table widget, how we can be able to represent it in our filament application. So let us go ahead and see what we can be able to do. So for us to do uh, have the chart widget, we can be able to run a command that will be able to assist us to create it. So we will say PHP, that is sun, make filament widget, the name of our widget, new users, and then we can have a flag hyphen hyphen table to just mention that whatever it is that we want to create is a table widget. We hit enter. We are being asked in which resource would we like to create this widget in and I would not like to create it inside resources but I just want to show you that inside our filament app we have user resource so you can be able to type it in user resource and it will create this widget in the user resource but for this case I would like our widget to just be created inside the dashboard of the admin panel so I'm going to just hit enter and then the next question is where we would like to create it. And we are having two options. One is admin uh, panel and the other one is app live wire. And in this case, I'm going to choose admin panel. And we have our widget created successfully. So let us go and check where we can be able to find it. So we have app. And then if we open the filament uh, directory, we have widgets. And now we have new users. So this is where our table uh, widget uh, resides. And so for for now, I would like us to just uh, go ahead and show some users in this table. So I can be able to just have calling the user model. So or whatever it is, whatever model it is that you're working with, we can maybe um, have a condition. Uh, so we can say users where or maybe just order by and we can have created that in the squad and we want the latest so we can say in descending order then we can um, just have a few records so we can take three next thing we can do is to import the user model so we will import app models user above here and then after doing that, we can go ahead and now specify the columns in our user table, in our users table. And we, by default, I have some users that I've created using the user factory. And so I have um, just columns having name and then email and password and created that and so on and so forth. So here we can just have text uh, column, text column, uh, make. We have a name, and then of course, uh, text column make again email. So you have the next one as email, something of that sort. And for us to be able to use text column, there must be an importation of filament columns, text column. So basically, you can check if you do not have this, you may have issues. So just check and confirm that you also have that imported. So I'm going to save and then refresh and see what happens now as you can see we have our widget being displayed so basically that is how you can be able to have a table widget in your admin panel thank you very much for following this video up until this point if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel consider giving us a subscription and if you have a comment you can shoot in the comment section below thank you